Hey everybody, Jamie here, and lately I've been gearing up for colder weather. I've always wanted a pair of flip top gloves, AKA fingerless mittens, AKA convertible glove mittens, AKA glitten. No matter what they're called, I could never find a style that I liked, especially at an affordable price. So today I'm going to show you how to make your own fleece glittens. Let's do it, girl. Okay, so for this craft, you'll need scissors, a ruler and writing utensil, paper, a needle and thread, thin elastic band, two buttons, and a half a yard of fleece fabric. All right, let's get on these glittons. Glittons, glittons, that's close. Step one. The first step is to create your glove template. Place your hand down on a piece of paper, giving yourself half of an inch of space. Trace your hand and spread out fingers from one side to the other. Now your wrist is thinner than your hand, so if you went with the outline you just drew, your hand wouldn't be able to fit inside of your glove. So place your hand over the drawing of your wrist and retrace your markings with that extra half inch of room. With your hand still in place, mark both sides of the top of each of your knuckles. When finished, carefully cut out your design. Mine ended up being five inches wide by eight inches tall. The next step is to make your glove pieces. Flip your fabric upside down and place your template onto your fabric. Trace your template with your writing utensil before cutting it out with your scissors. You need two of these per glove, so repeat this process three more times to make four pieces total. All right, now's the time to sew your gloves together. I'm going to be going with a zigzag stitch because it's really good at connecting loose seams together and it allows for a little bit of stretch in the glove. Layer two of your pieces fabric side in, giving yourself an eighth of an inch from the edge of your glove, bring up your needle and thread near the outside bottom of your hand. Then move your needle at a diagonal around the seam to the glove's bottom before bringing the needle back up again through your fabric. Your new point should be an eighth of an inch away from the last point. Continue looping around your fabric in even segments until you get to your fingers opening. At this point you'll stop and then head right back in the opposite direction with your stitch. Replace your needle through the same points you did when you went up through the fabric only this time move the diagonal in the opposite direction as you work your way around the seam. This will create an X pattern in your thread. Continue this new weave until you get right back to where you started, tying off your thread to lock it in place. As you work, make sure that you don't sew the bottom edge of the glove or the top edge of the four fingertips. Instead, tie off your thread at the beginning of an opening and then start your stitch on the other side. Keep stitching your way around until your entire glove has been zigzagged. For a professional look, fold the wrist of the glove right side out a half of an inch before zigzagging it in place at the outside seams. That way, when you turn your glove outside in, the wrist has a nice trimmed look. And that's how you make a glove. Repeat this entire process with your remaining fabric pieces to create two gloves. If you had a sewing machine, this entire process would take you about 10 minutes. By hand, it did take me about an hour per glove, but that ain't no thing when you're binge watching The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt on Netflix. If all you needed are fingerless gloves, you're all set. Otherwise, the next step is to make some mitten tops. Giving yourself a half of an inch of space, trace an arc over your fingers from the inside crook of your thumb to the outside bottom of your pinky finger. Use your ruler to connect the two sides together in a straight line, and then cut out your new fabric shape. Do this three more times to create four identical mitten top pieces. Step five. Okie dokie, let's sew key your mitten tops together. I had to. <laughs> Layer two pieces fabric side in, give yourself an eighth of an inch of sewing room, and zigzag your way along the entire top arc of your mitten. Before you get to the center point of your arc, you need to place in your elastic band. Bend your elastic into a teardrop shape on the right side of your fabric with the point of the teardrop against the mitten's edge. If you need help keeping the elastic in place, glue down its point to the topmost edge of the mitten. Then, as you sew your way around the mitten's arc, your stitch will naturally seal in the elastic. When finished, fold the bottom fabric's opening right side out a half of an inch and zigzag it in place at the seams. Repeat this entire step to create two mitten tops total. Step six. All that's left to do is attach your mitten tops to your gloves. Wearing your glove, place a mitten top over your hand until its bottom edge lines up inside the nook of your thumb. Then, holding the mitten top in place, carefully take off your glove. Starting at the outside edge where your glove and mitten connect, sew your mitten in place 
place along the top of your glove with a running stitch. Make sure that your needle doesn't go all the way through to the bottom of the glove, otherwise you're accidentally going to sew your glove shut. Repeat the same process for your other glove and mitten top. Step seven, the final step is to attach your button to your glove. Pull down your mitten top to see where its loop lands, then sew your button in place at this marking. That way, when you don't need the mitten cover, you can simply loop your elastic over your button to keep the mitten top in place. Ta-da, your handmade glittens are complete. Now to make your flip tops even fancier, you could sew on a tough fabric like suede to the center pulp in order to have a more solid grip. And you could use more fleece material in order to extend your mittens all the way down to your elbows. And if you wanted to use all your fingers for faster texting and stuff, then just follow the same steps you use to attach your mitten tops to create little thumb tops. You could also make this tutorial a little easier if you skip the finger tracing and instead trace straight across your knuckles so that way you make convertible mittens as opposed to the convertible gloves. And since you know how to do all of this from scratch, if you have any cheap acrylic gloves, just snip off the fingers attach a little mitten top and a button, and then you're good to go. That's going to save you both time crafting as well as money on fleece fabric. I'm super in love with these things. Yeah, you can always buy a pair, but this allows you a one-of-a-kind look at the perfect fit and for only $3 worth of fleece. Can you tell I'm holding up a three? <laughs> three! With just a few feet of fleece and a couple of buttons, you now have top-notch flip tops, AKA in love with your convertible gloves. AKA smitten with your mittens. What type of convertible mittens did you make? Tweet me at Jamie Petito, Instagram me at Hey Jamie, or let me know on my fan page on Facebook. If you loved making winter clothing from scratch, click the video on your left to make your own hat, leggings, and coffee cozy just from one sweater. And if you already own a pair of gloves, click the video on your right to find a few fun ways to deck them out cold weather style. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie, and you're on girl.com.